Alright. I made it. Without dying somehow. Uh, I'm gonna try not to talk and focus on this fight. A couple close calls, but I survived. Let's see here. Let's see how this goes. All my cooldowns. Oh, what does that do? Oh my god. Uh, I don't know if I can do this. I guess uh, you might want to know the build uh, so quickly. Ooh, this is the first time I'm getting excited about playing Diablo. Uh, let's see. Uh, skills are the three shouts. Uh, I'll call it Ancients for the mana regen or the fury regen. So I can spam and hammer the Ancients. Uh, let's see. So we got pretty standard bash. Uh, the overpower, uh, guaranteed overpower works really well with the next core skill, uh, which is Hammer the Ancients. Um, that extra skill on the, uh, I think it's the wrist, um, really helps with the extra damage. Uh, and this is pretty standard. And you want to max out your furry before you drop that hammer. Um, let's see, uh, furry regen, obviously. Um, only one point in all the cry, the shouts. Um, we got, yeah, just furry regen, uh, some extra tankiness there. I do use this, um, uh, I just like having everything having, uh, bleed while I, before I get there sometimes. Sometimes, um, I don't even hit them with my primary, uh, basic attack to start that bleed, uh, which means they're not, um, gaining all the bonuses, uh, to damage. Um, this is pretty much optional as personal preference. Uh, let's see. Uh, the fortify there. Um, longer shouts. Uh, damage reduction from the shouts. Then we got, uh, hamstring, of course. Um, so I use only one point here. Um, I guess I could remove some thorns and put it in here, but I noticed that, uh, with the uh, legendary paragon, the first one that I picked, uh, was the fortify when you spend fury. Um, so this wasn't really needed. And of course, these two for tankiness. Um, yeah. And then this is really great uh, for elites, uh, slowed enemies, um, extra crit. Uh, Call of the Ancients, and then uh, Unbridled Rage. Uh, this is a mandatory uh, skill. Um, on paper, it only looks like a, a slight increase in damage, uh, but because you regain a fairy so much that the additional cost uh, is not nearly as um, hindering, I guess. Uh, uh, let's see. Damage reduction aspect. Uh, this is definitely not necessary. Um, this cooldown doesn't seem to help too much. 
this no, that, there would be a better item here. I just use this uh, because um, damage reduction from an enemy sort of bleeding and then physical damage. Uh, skills increase damage when primary sources are full. Um, again, you want to be dropping that hammer when the primary source is full anyway, so this is it works well. Uh, uh, extra arbor, I lucked out with the max roll here. Um, definitely helps. You can see this can pop up to, oh, well, I'm in a high level dungeon, but this usually hovers around uh, 46 or 47 base, I think, and then it goes up to 60 something with just from uh, the armor. Um, this, um, there could be a better aspect here, but I use this because uh, it freezes. Uh, it's another source of uh, um, cry control. Uh, and then this is really important. Uh, this is almost a macro. I had a macro and wasted on another, another legendary, but 56% uh, increase of attack speed for primary. Uh, you gotta, you need that to, uh, can, not just for matter regen or the fury regen, but uh, because you need to swing and move, swing and move uh, quite often. You don't want to be locked into that animation. Uh, let's see. Uh, this, I don't know how much this helps. This is a recent addition. Um, I drop the hammer as soon as I get to the max or near max. So I don't think I'm benefiting this from, from this as much. Uh, I just haven't found something better. Um, definitely needed for this one. Uh, up to 30% and you swing pretty fast. So one, two, three drop, one, two, three drop. Uh, hammer of the Ancients, uh, this is almost a max roll, uh, or the percentage. Um, definitely need this. That makes the AoE huge, uh, with almost the full, uh, damage to everything around. Uh, I lucked out with the max roll here. Um, basically this allows me, when I'm not doing this capsule on onion, uh, it's just normal health tide and stuff. Just run in, uh, middle of the mob and drop this. You'll get back, uh, almost all of your, uh, fury back and then you drop it again. Uh, and then everything's dead. Uh, everything should pop in the, with the first drop anyway, but um, this adds to the uh, mana region here. The oh, sorry, I keep saying mana. Um, furry. Uh, something's gonna die when you drop that. So normally this this right here gets me back 55 percent. Um, and then this really helps with the uh, sustain. Um, you definitely need at least a source of heal somewhere. Um, another option uh, instead of that is um, because you do spend a lot of fury. Um, this is one of the options here. So go here for heal for three percent of maximum life, so nine percent every for a hundred fury spent. Um, I don't use that uh, because I want extra tankiness instead, and I rely on this for heals. Um, I don't know. It's something that you guys can check out. I suppose um, do your own testing. Uh, as you can see on all of these, um, the vulnerable doesn't help too much because I don't have a source of the neuro vulnerable except in parties. Um, there is a paragon, uh, that makes everybody vulnerable if you get hit, um, for three seconds. Um, I just haven't gotten there yet. So close enemies, uh, crowd control enemies. You got, uh, close enemies, crowd control enemies, core skill damage, core skill, uh, damage to slowed enemies. Uh, damage to close enemies, core skill. Um, so basically it's the same, same idea, uh, over and over again. Um, just stack that damage, um, and then you can, uh, crit at level 58, uh, for, I think the highest I saw was a red number for 132,000. Um, again, I've never run, this is my first character running the capstone to get into tier four. Uh, did it on my first try without dying. So there's proof that this works.